So Scott, this is a delicate question, but as a psychologist, as somebody that has uh, studied anxiety and treats couples uh, on sexual issues, what do you do about anxiety in the bedroom? It might be around performance issues. It might be about any number of things. Address that for us, would you? You can think about addressing anxiety in two parts. So there's preparing for the bedroom. It's really helpful to take a hot bath or shower, either by yourself or with your partner, or do some breathing exercises. I know some couples that actually uh, use headspace or calm for a few minutes while they're while they're laying in bed. And then there's addressing the anxiety that can show up uh, in in the bed. And so one helpful uh, technique is just to think about your internal world having a front screen and a side screen and the front screen is where you're wanting to stay anchored and that is being present with your partner and really staying hooked on whatever pleasurable sensation you can detect in that moment the side screen is where those worries and fears and insecurities show up which you can't control but you want to be careful to not go away in your mind and hang out on that side screen And when it does show up and your mind wanders over there, just really using as a hook for your attention, whatever pleasurable sensation you can detect. And and what is it that will cause a a spouse to go to that side screen? What are the things that are going through their head? Oh, I bet he doesn't like this. Oh, I bet, uh, like what's going on? Yeah, and there's so many. Maybe there's insecurity around being desired. There isn't a lot of confidence or security there, performance anxiety, will my body function in the way that I want it to, right? So right. There, there can be a lot of uh, anxious anticip- anticipation of you know what might happen or where the other person is. I love what you said. This is kind of a two-stage process in that there's preparation and mm-hmm. getting yourself in, maybe it is like a, a warm bath or whatever, just a relaxing mode because, and I think I don't want to skip over what you said at the beginning. Sexual fulfillment happens when you are both relaxed. This is not an anxious (laughs) thing that increases. It's not like public speaking where a little bit of anxiety really can maybe help you perform better. Not so in the bedroom, right? No, it's so true. It's all about engaging your parasympathetic nervous system. That's where sexual arousal takes place and a really intimate connection. So yeah, relaxation is so key. I do a lot of sex therapy and I work really hard with couples just on that piece. It is challenging for a lot of couples just to really relax in that space. But we have a lot of good tools and strategies to accomplish that. So helpful. Scott, thanks for your wisdom. Yeah, you bet, Les.